G'day, my name's Almanzo and today I'd like to talk to you about some of the different options available with our Hydraulic Auto Crush. So this crush is the Hydraulic version, which is the next model up on our pneumatic auto drafting crush. So it uses a single phase electric power pack and to maintain the high pressure that's required to each function, it has an accumulator on top. This model is also available with a petrol power pack if required. So all the rams on the hydraulic crush have what we call a pressure relief valve. This allows us to individually adjust the pressure on each function. So starting at the rear of the crush we have the hydraulic controlled split entry gate. This can be op operated off either the remote control or the electric switch on the dashboard. When using the remote you press the button and it'll come all the way open or all the way closed. Whereas on the electric switches, you've got proportional control. This allows you to stagger the opening and closing. So next up we have the hydraulic kick gate. This is an additional option, which is operated off the electric switch. We've also designed a safety cutout switch, which means whenever this gate is activated, it disables the functionality of the entry gate to the crush. So if I close this around now, you'll see there's a sensor down here, and whenever the gate is swung out of the way of the sensor, that disables the entry gate. So I, can, I can't open the actual entry gate to the crush, whereas if I return the kick gate, I can then open and close the entry gate to the crush. So this means if you're pre-testing and someone is yarding up and they press the wrong button on the remote, you don't run the danger of an animal walking into the crush when you're not expecting to. So next up we have the hydraulic parallel squeeze. This can be operated off either remote control or the electric switches on the dashboard and you've got proportional control. So at the front we've got the C5000 head bell. This is an extra heavy duty option, which is only available on the hydraulic crush. And as you can see, everything has been reinforced for a much higher volume situation. So there's three ways to operate the head bell, off either remote control, the electric switches at the rear of the crush, and then we've also added an additional switch here which allows you to operate the head bow and the head scoop. The benefit of that is it means if someone else is using the remote control, you do have functionality at the front of the crush. We've also got the hydraulic chin lifter, which is an option. And this can either be operated off either the electric switch here or back on the dashboard of the crush. You'll also notice as the chin lifter comes in, it narrows in width and you've got proportional control, so it stops wherever you let go of the switch. You've got a lot of adjustment on the door, this makes a big difference depending on the size animals you're working. A key feature that we've added is a release button. This means when the animal's in the head bow and the chin lifter's on, you can press, press one button to activate the release of both functions. For this to happen, you do have to close the access gate. So like the safety feature that we added on the kick gate, we've also added some safety to the head bell. This means when you open the access gate, it removes the function of the head bell. It's activated off a sensor here, so either access gate is open, it disables the function of the head bell. So as you can see, I can open and close the head bell off the remote, but as soon as I open the access gate, it removes that functionality. So with the drafting module out in front, this is available as either a three-way or a five-way draft, and it's controlled either off the scale system 
which can be set to automatically draft based on weight or tag information. You can also operate it off the remote and off the electric switch on the dashboard. So back here you have the controls to set up your auto headbell catch. Firstly you have the auto catch on off button and then you've got the headbell adjustment dial. This allows you to set the width you want the door to open to. And then if we put it in auto draft mode, this will open the entry gate and based on the sensor, close the entry gate and the whole process will be fully automatic. So if we press auto now, in this, in this mode you'll have the remote control and operate an additional hydraulic gate back in the race. So you can allow the operator to be standing back in the race and control a race gate one section back so there's always one animal ready to walk into the crash. And now we press the auto catch button. This will then open the head bale based on the width that we've set. As the animal comes in, there's a sensor up here which will close the entry gate. <coughs> As it moves further forward, there's an additional sensor at the head bale and one at the front which activates the closing of the head bale door. So once you trigger the front sensor, that activates the head bale to close and then that allows you to open the access gate and control the chin lifter. Once you're finished with the task that you're doing, you can close the access gate and press the release button. This will release the chin lifter and open the head bale. And now at this point, as the animal exits the crush, there's an additional sensor on the draft module and that tells the crush the animal is left and allows the next one to enter the crush. So there's three different ways to operate the crush. Like it is now, with both these fu functions turned off, you can operate it off the remote or the switch. This is what we call our manual control. The second mode is auto catch. When this function is activated, the head bow will automatically catch an animal. Once you press the release button, you'll then have to, on the remote or on the dashboard, reopen the entry gate to let the next animal through. The third mode is auto draft mode. This allows you to set your weigh scale indicator up to draft on weight or tag information. And in this mode, as the animal comes in and closes the entry gate sensor, that closes the entry gate. And then based on the weight or the tag information, the crush will then open the correct draft gate, open the head bale, as the animal moves out and the weight goes off, <coughs> the cattle crush will reset. And there's also another sensor on the drafting module which will tell the crush that previous animal has left. The fourth mode is the auto catch and the auto draft mode. This is used when you want to draft on weight or tag information automatically and you also require head bow access. So you can automatically catch the animal in the head bow and then once you press the release button everything resets ready for the next animal to come in. So all you do is you have someone controlling the race gate which goes one section back with the race gate that allows you to stagger the flow into the crush so you always have one animal ready to walk into the crush. This can be operated off either the remote control <coughs> or the electric switch you can mount back in the race. As the animal enters into the crush, they come through and trigger the entry gate sensor. This closes the entry gate. As they move further forward, there's an additional sensor at the front here, and then the actual head bow sensor itself. So as soon as you trigger the head bow sensor, that closes. You can then open and close the chin lifter if required. Once you're finished, you can press the release button. That will release the head bale. As the animal walks out and the weight goes off the crush, the cattle crush will reset and the next one will come in. Like all our products, they're fully hot dip galvanised after fabrication and they're 100% made in New Zealand. If you'd like more information or have any questions on our range of cattle handling equipment, please reach out to one of our team either give us a call or visit our website, we're more than happy to help.